So in order to drain the fluid, the easiest way I find it, you can take, undo this screw and then you can take off the pipe and then you can just to get some fluid out and, and the, into the bucket because I mean thermostat sits quite high so you don't need to drain complete fluid out but you can do that and then here's the two screws one there one there that needs to be removed and then you can take the housing off and then thermostat is behind it so let's do that so when the nuts are removed then you can remove the thermostat let's see on this behind So there is the thermostat itself, and there is the, so you need to remove it, and then you need to replace the gasket here as well. And as you see the mine, it has been stuck open, you can see it there, you can see it, yep, so you can see that there is a light going through it, so. Time for a new one. So you take the new thermostat, then make sure that you install the new O-ring here as well. So it goes over the, the edge here. And then the next thing, thing that need to remember that this small valve, that needs to go upside as well. So that's easier to bleed the system later on when you fill it up and when you install the thermostat. Now let's install it.